what is up everybody it is what is it today it is april 3rd 2023 in beautiful big bear lake california welcome to the channel welcome to what i do i appreciate you guys being here very much i love doing this i love recording the weather for you guys i am grateful as can be to have you guys here so thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so i had to drive around to find a little bit of snow flurries but we found them we certainly did. We found them. Uh, we're not supposed to get that much snow today. Less than a quarter of an inch. Nothing nothing special. And then there is nothing in the long, long range forecast. But anything after a few days out can change. Like, completely change. So, do not take my, my word as gospel, please. But how's everyone doing this fine day? Thank you very much for asking. Alrighty then. Yeah, we are on Big Bear Boulevard as if we were heading out of town because we were going to go over to the Big Bear Dam and because I have a feeling that the whole town isn't going to see snow. So that's why I thought we would we would drive out here so I don't miss the event. I mean, it, it shows that the whole town's supposed to get snow, but I just have a feeling it's not going to. So I wanted to go to the part of town which is considered the snowiest part of town. Passing Boulder Bay right now. Okay, so we are getting a little diesel basil, drizzle basil. Here's Boulder Bay Park right here, you guys. We are going to be doing a video over here soon. If I had the courage to hop on a little raft and swim across to those rocks, I would. But now, now that I said it, some other people probably might. <laughs> so yeah, we are getting a little, kind of a drizzly snowflake, a, dr a, a drizzle flake coming down. really wet stuff like it is 32 degrees on the dot and good morning at, at the tone pacific standard time will be 10 36 exactly do you guys remember that phone number like from like 15 or 20 years ago and before if you lived in the 714 area code all you had to dial was 853 and then any number you want and then it would be it would it would it would tell you the time and it was every 10 seconds, you know, at the, at the tone. Pacific Standard Time will be 10.36 and 20 seconds, beep. And then it would start again and then 10.36 and 30 seconds, beep. It was awesome. You could get the exact time. But yeah, we're getting some snow, guys. We are getting some snow. This is great. This is great. So what I'm going to do is... This will be the start of the video. Well, obviously, this video will, will be the start, but we are going to wait about another 30 to 45 minutes, even though I don't usually do that. But it's such a small amount of weather coming in, which is also why I'm, I'm very, very proud of our meteorologist for actually predicting this one properly, because it is hardly anything. It, it could have dissipated, gone a different direction, um, there are just so so many different factors that could have come into play for this guy. But guess what, you guys? And, and, and I think like five days, we're supposed to get up to maybe 65 degrees. Can you guys believe it? Pretty remarkable. Once we get over here near the Big Bear Dam, if, if we can pull over anywhere, I'm going to um, show you guys what it looks like on the radar right now. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for cruising with us on the roller coaster yesterday, guys. 
those comments are awesome. You, you guys are awesome. It's been a real pleasure being with you guys. I'm telling you that. You guys have really, you guys have become my family. I couldn't ask for a better, more caring family. Everything about you guys is real. <clears throat> and you know what? Just real quick for some entertainment stuff for you guys. I never like watching what my wife watches on TV ever. <clears throat> For me, it's just horrible. <laughs> but there was this one show she convinced me to watch with uh, Christina Applegate. It's called like Dead Like Me or Dead to Me on Netflix. It's a Netflix series. And my gosh, it was a great, great show. I mean, a great, great show. All right, we're going to pull over right here because we are at the, the damn dam, at the Jean-Claude Van Damme. Look at how foggy. Look at how beautiful and foggy it is over here. We are getting snow, as you can see on the windshield. I think you can see some of these little little white flakes. I don't know if you can or not, but I hope you can. Okay, let me zoom in on the radar. Okay, so those little blue areas next to our blue dot. So let me hit the play button so you guys can see it. Usually I don't get great seats, so that's all we're, we're supposed to get. Just that, that little bit dragging by us. So we might not actually, we might not hold up until later. I think this is gonna be it, guys. And I don't think any of this snow was gonna reach down. I think this is gonna be as far as the snow came. Honest to goodness. All these people right here are so excited thinking that, oh my gosh, it's gonna be dumping. This whole drive, it's been cloudy and it's just about to start. Well, I've got news for you. Sad to say, not gonna happen. Which was the story of my life coming up here, you guys. Forecast for snow. We would come up here and then nothing happens. So we're gonna turn around right here. We're gonna flip a UE after this dude. But yeah, it's snowing right now. There's a nice little view of the lake. I don't know, can you guys see the snow? I sure hope so. I sure hope so, and we're gonna make sure we miss the light so we're stuck in the snowy part of town for a minute. There's no one, no one behind us, so we're good. We're just gonna stay here. I'll be quiet for a minute so so we can hear it. Make sure I clean the windshield good enough so you guys can see. It's a little bit of sleet or grapple, whatever you want to call it. Once again, this is as if you're coming into town from Highway 18 through Running Springs and whatnot. You, you, you came up 330 and got onto Highway 18 at the top and coming into town now after cruising about 18 miles or so. So you're going to be thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be great. But just when you even get to the Big Bear Village, maybe it'll be socked in at this point, but I doubt it. You'll see the further we go this way, the less cloud cover we will be involved in. So once again, for all of you who are fairly new, this is the snowiest 
part of the, of um, of Big Bear of the valley, not of all of Big Bear. If you want to stay in a place that gets the most snow in the whole valley residentially, you're going to want to stay in Upper Moon Ridge. But anywhere down here in Papoose Bay, here to the left, or Boulder Bay, or any of these spots from Boulder Bay back here towards the dam, it's going to be the snowiest area in the whole valley of Big Bear. and I need to get our tubing thing going. It's just 40 bucks a person, you guys. And there's not much more time to go tubing. <clears throat> so she and I really need to get on it. She's actually in Whittier right now. She had another dentist appointment, my poor, poor baby. Had one last week and they did one side of her mouth and this week they're doing the other side. I feel bad for her. But I hate the dentist. <clears throat> but she goes to a, a, a Medi-Cal dentist. I go to one of you guys, one of my YouTube friends, they're worth every single penny, but I have, I need to go back. I need a cleaning and a couple more fillings. I know that for sure, but I've been, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm so broke. I can't even afford to pay attention, you know? I'm so, I'm so poor. My mom asked me to go buy a color TV and I was like, oh no, 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 that's, you're so dumb. I'm so dumb, my mom asked me to go buy a color TV and I said, what color? <laughs> you guys, I'm so poor. When, when you walk in the front door of my house, you immediately fall out the back door. And one more, I'm so poor. When you walked in my house and stepped on a cigarette, I was like, who turned off the heat? <laughs> sorry I know I know I'm sorry but you gotta forgive me these are problems I, I suffer from from stupidity there's Boulder Bay look at how gorgeous it is looks all frozen over just looking all frozen and cool just look at that it's pretty amazing to see all, all this snow melted on the left-hand side for the most part because you can actually see Boulder Bay. Some of that snow was piled up just as high as those, uh, those rocks over there. Pretty crazy stuff. dude we'll probably just use the hot tub tomorrow then but tomorrow's gonna be a better day to do a video for your property my friend because right now we're getting a little bit of light snow but it's not even gonna reach your property I had to drive to the Big Bear Dam to catch the snow it's gonna be hardly anything and bro I am so sorry again but I'm excited to do this for you you guys on this channel are literally my best friends and my family and I'm honored to try to help you out and get the rest of the folks on the channel to stay at your Airbnb brother thanks again Jay so guys so one of you guys one of our friends here his name is Jay he contacted me via email a couple months ago and said he would he would love to just offer us his his vacation home to stay for a, a, a couple nights to thank my wife and I for what we do and seriously guys like you guys are unbelievably awesome and his place is rad just any place to stay other than ours is rad but his place is super cool and um, I'm going to do a video for him and post it on the channel. And I, and guys, I'll give a completely honest review. You, 
you guys have to understand that honesty is paramount here because I want you guys to have a good time. I know you guys come up here and are forced to spend a lot of money already. So if I'm going to refer you somewhere that's going to cost money, I want to make sure that, you know, I give you the honest experience so you guys can make your own determination what you want to do. It's really important to me. You guys are so important to me. If I didn't have you guys in my life, I, I mean, I, I just, I, I think the very worst, honestly. Okay, so we're coming up to the area where we did the sledding, where you guys saw that video yesterday on April 2nd. Oh, look at this huge pothole. Dodge that bad boy. Or where we did that roller coaster, and then there's also, this is one of the tubing spots. Here it is. There she blows. There she blows. Oh, look at how strong that guy is. He's lifting up that whole, th whole thing of uh, snow right there. So all these resorts that you guys see, whether they're big, small, super high end, or low end, whatever, we are gonna eventually stay at every one for our playlist because it's really important. I want you guys to be able to see every single one of these places before you actually check in. Um, and once again, guys, I've been very, very honest on my reviews. Um, pretty much 90 plus percent of my reviews on the hotels and lodging I've been happy with. But there have been a, a couple that I wasn't that thrilled with. However, I feel bad about it because the staff was so awesome. Um, it's just like, man, like, as I said, honesty is, is so important here because this place is already so expensive, you guys. At the risk of having some some business owners mad at me, you know, it's 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 either that or you guys mad at me. And look, see, as we pull pull into town, there's some blue sky right there, not nearly as foggy. Here is that Marina Riviera Resort. It's got that rustic appeal to it. And also, this is one of my favorite spots, the Robin Hood Resort. One of the reasons it's, it's one of my favorite spots, you guys, is because this is where, when I first started visiting Big Bear after staying with my friends, with, with my friend at his place, his parents' place on Cove Street, it's like a 10,000 10, square foot, completely high tech, and this is back in the late 90s, just mansion that wraps right around the corner of the lake, right around a point, just spectacular even when the boat tours would like drive by you would you would hear them say and and, and that's dr gary groves home right there like like that's how prominent my friend's dad is but long story short um when i would come up here alone afterwards or with other friends the first place that i looked up was the robin hood resort and because it had a hot tub in the room i thought ah oh, that you know, with snow outside, that'll be super cool. So I ended up staying there and I, I fell in love with it right away because of the Robin Hood theme and uh, just the hot tub and being right there at the start of the village. Um, and I became accustomed to staying there because it just felt comfortable. I got, I got to know one of the managers there. Yeah, it's, it's just that's another great spot you guys once again I don't know if you would get any discount if you say that that I, I referred you there but I have recorded a video at the Robin Hood Resort we do need to stay in a regular room there so you guys can see what the regular rooms look like because I did stay <coughs> in their two-story amenity it's uh it's on the second floor 
and the room has a spiral staircase going up to a loft also. So it was it was super cool, beautiful lake views right across from the Marina Riviera on the other side of Big Bear Boulevard. But once again, as I said, look on the playlist, you guys. There's maybe 15 or 16 different spots, or actually, no, probably about 11, 10 or 11 different spots because some of these hotels I've, I've, I've stayed multiple times, but I did a recording again at these same places because it's a different room. So a completely different view, a, a completely different everything. It was just the same property. So that's why you'll see some of these spots where I stayed twice. All right. That is why they aren't a repetitive vet. They aren't repetitive videos at all. So just please understand that is why we have multiple the same hotel uh, stays on re on record for you guys. These poor snow plows have nothing to do today. snow plow go a little bit slow for right now and then uh, we're gonna turn down moon ridge moon ridge but yeah you guys any of you guys have a, you know a nice feeling getaway up here and you guys want me to help you market it as I said Jay offered his for free that's not what I'm that's not what I'm asking you guys if you guys want me to help you out we would be willing to you know somehow come up with the funds to stay and then do a video for you guys because remember I always tell you guys this without you guys and without you guys creating the jobs up here I don't get to live here and trust me I'm so much happier up here than anywhere else even though sometimes I'm 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 bummed up here too but everywhere I'm at I'm bummed not totally happy but this is the happiest i've been in a long time so i'm happy to do that for you guys it'll always be just my wife and myself and if it's pet friendly our two little dogs which weigh eight pounds and less luna weighs i think eight pounds and theo weighs about four pounds that cute little bugger i am so glad we we got him back it's all because of the law of attraction thanks to you guys and our higher power for sure. I knew with all the love you guys were showing us and truly, truly thinking about us and wanting that dog back in our lives, that's why he was found. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction, you guys. I told you guys that. Those of you who don't know what the law of attraction is, let me know and I will gladly talk to you about it. But yeah, we're on Moon Ridge Road, folks. Moon retro. Dun, 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 dun. Clock is 25 minutes fast. It's 33 degrees. We're almost empty on gas. This is what I'm usually li uh, listening to. My punk rock. I know my car is filthy, so forgive me. And I was thinking what I might do, maybe not this season, but just for a retro type of a thing, maybe we'll do a video or, or two how we used to which is playing my punk rock music in the background and just cruising and just yeah so if you guys go back to the very beginning back in 2015 on this channel you guys will see you guys will see it was pretty punk rock all right so we're gonna head by bear bear schmear mountain But yeah, I just saw another snowflake come down over here. It looks like you can see those clouds dropping to the left of the screen over the top of these buildings. That could be some, some little tiny squalls of snow falling. I'm loving it. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's the golf course, you guys. Oops. 
Pothole Central right here. Yeah, you guys, thank you guys again for being so good to me. The love is so, so unbelievable here. I can never thank you guys enough. You guys have changed someone's life, and I just really wish you guys honestly knew the depth of the change, the impact you guys have had on me. You guys, it was something I never thought about. I, I never imagined that I would develop a family from this. As most of you know, when I first started, I thought I, I was going to be made fun of and just like, what a total dork this guy is, driving around aimlessly, just recording the weather and doesn't shut the heck up. <laughs> I didn't think you guys would, would be happy about it, but for me, this channel was made for me, for my depression. Precisely for that reason and that reason only. Um, the reason why they are on 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 YouTube is because I couldn't afford any thumb drives to save my uh, videos. So that's why I ended up uh, creating the YouTube channel. And I thought I was being so smart by not paying for thumb drives because I I didn't want to fill up my phone with with videos and then not, not 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 have any memory so that's why I ended up doing what I am I am doing and once again you guys were the biggest surprise out of this whole thing I just fell in love with you guys right away I couldn't believe how nice you guys were to me and that's why I'm always willing to go out of my way for you guys and really show you guys Big Bear the best way that I know how And never forget, you guys, I am often imitated, but never duplicated. There are people out there who like literally do the same thing I do up here now. And, and they use the same titles like verbatim that I do too. It's horrible. It's horrible. I have no problem with other people doing what I do, but be creative. Come up with your own creativity because I've worked really, really hard. And I don't think it's fair to ride other people's coattails like that, you know? Once again, it's not like I make any money from this YouTube thing, but it's my passion and, you know, I've, I've, I've just had such, such an amazing time developing these relationships with all of you. It's, it's been something special for me. And so I just, you know, in a sad, selfish way, I just didn't want any of you taken away from me. I love you guys, man. I love you guys a lot. So we are going to go down one of these streets to head, or I think this, this might be Sunset actually. I'm not sure, but we're gonna take Sunset all the way down. I, I, I hope this is sunset. Yes. No, this is Silver Tip. Even better. Silver Tip Road, folks. This is going to take us down to sunset. That's right. This is just to avoid that other side of Moon Ridge Road, even though there's no need to avoid it at the moment. <clears throat> So I've, I've told you guys this joke in the past and I don't have many, many good jokes or clean enough jokes to put on this channel, but I, I've got one. I'll give you guys a few seconds to think about it. So I want you guys to name three cars that start with P. Name three cars that start with P. You would think it'd be an, e an easier test, huh? 
Well, anyway, we are at Sunset now. We're actually going to take Sunset because one of our friends on this channel wanted us to drive up Sunset. That's why I thought we were on Sunset. Sunset ends right there and turns into Moon Ridge Road. But we're going to take Sunset all the way to the top here. So name three cars that start with P. A lot of people say like Pontiac, Porsche, Prius. But I have, I have news for you guys. No cars... And I mean, no cars start with P. They only start with gasoline. <laughs> okay, there go a bunch of subscribers. I know. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. That's a cute joke. My, my dad told me that joke when I was little. And I'm still little, so it's still, it still has play in my life. That's a beautiful, beautiful color wood. I love how that snowboard is plastered on that wall up there. That's awesome. Guys, there are so many cute houses up here. There are so many cute houses up here. Okay, so I believe we are back here at Silver Tip. And we are. So what we're going to do is, since we just did that loop, we might as well just turn back here and finish the rest of the way on Moon Ridge right here. So now we're, that, now we're at Moon Ridge, and we're going to turn right. And we're almost done with our drive, you guys. We're still getting a flake every two or three minutes. It's not much. There's not much more to come. Let me just look at the radar one more time just to see if anything has changed in the last minute. I might do another video a little, yeah, so it's it's really not, not looking too promising. But we caught what there was available to catch, you guys. There's always the chance that it could snow a little bit more. But it doesn't look like the radar is showing any, any love. It looks like everything's going right around us. Let's see, at about one o'clock, we might get a little bit more. So if it starts snowing heavier, even for just a short period of time, you guys know I'm gonna be back out there for y'all. All right? And don't forget that joke I told you either. Temperature has dropped to 31 degrees. It is, almost, I think it's like 11 on the dot. It's 11.06 a.m. And here's the zoo. My, my wife and I have to get here. Now that I said it, it'll be done before I do it. Watch. <laughs> Seriously. Alright. Okay, we're on Moon Ridge Road. The newly renovated Moon Ridge Road. And guys, thank you guys so much for being here. As I said, with our weather, what seems to be happening is everything's gonna end at about one o'clock. I don't know if we're gonna remain cloudy, but I have a feeling we are not. Oh, now look what just happened. Look at that, between two and three, it looks like more heavy snow's coming through. Or well, finally some like moderate snow. You guys just saw five minutes ago, it didn't show that. It showed everything ending at about one, so. That's what happens up here. You guys know I'll be back out doing that for y'all. And thank you guys, as always, for being here with me and sharing this beautiful, beautiful place with me, sharing the YouTube experience with me, being my brothers and sisters. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I want to do the best I can for y'all. Um, if you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe. I work really hard at this. It would really help me out a bunch, you guys. Um, I've always, I've been known in the past to not like and subscribe to other videos and now I like and subscribe always because I know how hard I work others must work hard too so just please hook it up I would appreciate it and I love you guys very much it's April 3rd 2023 take care and I can't wait to read the comments bye you guys